Well, hello, 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 everyone out there. How are you, ladies? Welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Woman is God. Woman, you know you're God, right? You know you're God here on this realm, right? Nothing can come through this realm, can come to it unless it comes through you. Even the animal kingdom, the feminine is the creator. You know what I'm saying? We birth everything, you know? You are God here on earth, all right? Know who you are. Know your power. Know what you possess. Know thyself, all right, ladies? We the bomb. We the bomb diggity, you know what I'm saying? And we just need to just face that, you know what I'm saying? And we need to just go with that, you know? Where my girl's at? Where my girl's at? From the front to back, and if you're feeling that. What's up, ladies? Where my girl's at? Where you at? Lady, you are. And I'm so proud of you. You know what I'm saying? You, every woman. You know what I'm saying? You got all those goddesses inside of you. You know what I'm saying? All those energies. You know what I'm saying? We need to, you know what I'm saying? Go with that. Use those energies, what we possess. You know what I'm saying? Tap into those. You know what I'm saying? How you ladies doing? I hope y'all doing well. I hope the day was productive for you. I hope you're joyful and peaceful, surrounded by your loved ones, drinking you a nice glass of wine if you drink, you know what I'm saying? Eating a good meal, you know, if that's what, you know what I'm saying, tickles your fancy. Let me tickle your fancy. Let me inside your soul. Y'all remember that? I'm just telling my age, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, yeah. This is an environment of positivity, awareness, and consciousness. We surf in a wave of positivity and love, you know. So if you ain't on that wave, man, you, this is not the environment for you. Don't just get out of here. You shouldn't even came in here. You know what I'm saying? We don't want nothing you got. You know what I'm saying? We returning all evil eyes to Cinder. You know what I'm saying? You can have it. We don't want it. You know what I'm saying? Return to Cinder. Oh, come on, Elvis. Address unknown, uh, 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 no such number, uh, 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 no such phone. Yeah, we don't, we don't want it. We don't want it. You can have it. You know what I'm saying? You can have it back. There you go, boo. You know what I'm saying? We're sending all your negative energy back. You know what I'm saying? We're rebuking you. We don't want you here. You know what I'm saying? Go away. I rebuke your negative energy away from me as I will it, so mote it be. I rebuke your negative energy away from me as I will it, so mote it be. I rebuke your negative energy away from me as I will it, so mote it be. Above all, I will not be your fucking victim. I know that's right, ladies. And you know, they siphon in our energy. So every day you get up, call your energy back to you, ladies. You know what I'm saying? It's real easy. You can light a candle or not. But just, I call my energy back to me. As I will it, so mote it be. I call my energy back to me. As I will it, so mote it be. I call my energy back to me. As I will it, so mote it be. Honey, I'm not going to be your victim. All right? Use your own energy. You don't like your energy because it's dirty and it's nasty. You know what I'm saying? That's why they're trying to, all these karmics trying to copycat us. You know what I'm saying? I mean, man, get your mind right, y'all. Get your mind right. All right, what energy you got for us, spirit? What message are you giving my divine feminine, my girls? You know what I'm saying? Where my girls at? Where my girls at? What's up, divine feminine? What's up, the DF, I call you? You know what I'm saying? The DF. What's up, girl? You know what I'm saying? Let's get this message out for you today. You know what I'm saying? Get the message out for my girls. All right. What energy we got for this particular reading for my divine feminine? Ooh. Don't dim your light to fit in. Don't dim your light to fit in. You know what I'm saying? Be you. Okay. That's right. That's right. Don't dim your light to fit in. You know what I'm saying? We do that a lot, ladies. We we, we really do it with men. We, 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 we practically just play dumb in order to have a conversation with them. You know what I'm saying? We lower ourselves. Think about it, ladies. We lower ourselves to have conversation with these men. We really do. They are definitely the lower sex. 
Definitely. Think about it, ladies. You lower yourself. I mean, things that he talk about are so idiotic to you. You know what I'm saying? Because we're more complex. They're simplistic. You know what I'm saying? We're chaos. They're not, you know? <clears throat> you just got to know your place. You know what I'm saying? So don't dim your light to fit in. Don't dim your light to fit in. Don't be trying to look like everybody else and talk like everybody else. And <coughs> Excuse me. Don't, don't try to do that. That ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? You just got to be you. Be you, boo. I got to be me. Be you. Do not dim your light to fit in. You know what I'm saying? I mean, stay unique. You know what I'm saying? You, you stand out because you're unique. Okay? Yeah, you stand out because you're unique. That's why I hate I hate schools that have uniforms. See, when I was growing up, we didn't have them. You know what I'm saying? We all dressed according to our personalities. You know what I'm saying? Um, and they just took that away from the kids. Everybody walking around looking the same, looking like robots walking around there. You know what I'm saying? They don't even want kids to wear different belts or stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? With their own personality. They'll tell them to take it off or something like that. You know what I'm saying? There's got to be a uniformity across the board. That's the craziest thing I've ever heard. Because everybody's not the same. Everybody is not the same. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so don't don't be trying to fit in with the sheep. You know what I'm saying? You a goat. You a boss. You a goat. You at the top of the top of the mountain looking down. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're not no sheep, you know, because the only thing the sheep do is lick up the other sheep's ass. You know what I'm saying? So don't, don't, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're not no follow the leader. You know what I'm saying? You follow yourself. You follow your heart. You know what I'm saying? Don't dim your light to fit in with these people because your light is shining bright. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people, they be wanting you to dim because your light shows their demons. Okay? So don't be dimming your light to fit in. You know what I'm saying? You better shine for me. I believe in you. You know what I'm saying? Better shine. You know what I'm saying? Baby, you are my shining star. Don't you go away. You know what I'm saying? You better shine on. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you. you better shine on. Shine on, divine feminine. Please don't dim to fit in. I mean, why would you want to fit in? Why would you want to fit in with, every, with, with, with everybody else that's just like everybody else? Think about it. You know what I'm saying? Be you. Be true. Be you. Be free. You know what I'm saying? I mean, man. I'm telling you. What message you got for my divine feminines out here? We're not dimming. We're not dimming to fit in. We're not, we not finna lower ourselves to be with these men or these women if you're in a uh, bisexual relationship or lesbian relationship. We're not, finna, we're not finna lower ourselves. If these people ain't on your level, you don't need to be with them. You know what I'm saying? I mean, if you can't communicate with them, y'all don't have, you, you're not compatible. You can't sit and have a conversation with this person because they are dingadora. You know what I'm saying? I mean, that's not the one for you. And you got to lower your words or lower what you're speaking about because they don't understand it. That's not the person for you. You know what I'm saying? That's not the person for you. You need to get somebody on your level or above. You know what I'm saying? You know, you get somebody that enhances you. You don't want to get with nobody that brings you down. You know what I'm saying? So don't be trying to dim your light to fit in with people. To fit in to what? You know what I'm saying? I mean, psh, come on, man. We stand out. We divine feminists. We stand out, baby, in the crowd. You know what I'm saying? So we don't do that. So, you know, stop lowering yourselves, ladies. Stop lowering yourselves to be with this friend group. Stop lowering yourselves to be with these um, suitors, I mean, come on, seriously, you know, Psst. I'm telling you, man, you know, I just, you know, a lot of people think I act funny, you know what I'm saying, which I don't give a damn, because I don't care what people think about me, that's just me, you know what I'm saying, but I could be in a room full of women, you know, at the last uh, particular uh, job I had, you know, because I'm out the matrix, Hallelujah. You know what I'm saying? Been out the matrix for three years. You know what I'm saying? And I'm loving it. You know what I'm saying? Peace of mind. You know what I'm saying? Because these people out here are so evil and I just can't stand them. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, 
but at the last uh, job I had, I mean, it was with a bunch of women that just sit around and just gossip. You know what I'm saying? And if they're not gossiping about nobody, they're talking about celebrities and what wig and all that stuff. And I just be sitting there just looking at them. And they be like, you're not talking to us. I'm like, yeah, I'm talking, but, you know, what the conversation you had is don't mean nothing to me. It has no substance. It's just, and I just be looking at them. I be like, wow, they ain't got nothing in their head. They talking about, you know, the latest shoe or love and hip hop or something like that. And I just be looking at them like, man, I just don't, you know what I'm saying? So I just don't, I don't fit in with these people. So I just go ahead and just go ahead and do my work and do my job and not trying to, have no camaraderie at this job. And I couldn't wait to get out that job. I was there for six months. You know what I'm saying? I mean, these are some young women that were just bobbleheads. And you had the old women that just washed up in their life. You know what I'm saying? And I was just looking at them like, and they gossiping. You know, I was like, oh, these are some miserable, toxic people. I can't wait to get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I don't fit in with these people. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not going to lower what I was told, you know, my conversation or whatever, you know what I'm saying? So I just like stayed to myself and it was certain people that I talked to, you know what I'm saying? That I found interesting and, but <laughs> these are those other people, honey, I couldn't wait to get out of there, you know? So don't dim yourself to fit in. You don't fit in, you don't fit in, you don't mean to fit in. Why would you want to fit into some toxicity? That's not you, boo. That's not you, you know? So I totally understand, you know? And then they get to talking about you because you don't want to sit with them. You don't want to talk with them. You ain't talking about nothing. I don't want to sit with you. Sit with you for what? You ain't talking. I want to talk about love and hip hop. I don't want to talk about the housewives of Atlanta. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I don't want to talk about uh, Beyonce. You know what I'm saying? I don't. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to talk about that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, get out of here. You know what I'm saying? I mean, okay. Y'all need to get y'all some business. I don't want to talk about who's screwing who and, you know what I'm saying, what somebody said about somebody and, and I ain't girl, look at her. I ain't girl, look at girl, please. I don't, mm-mm. Nah, ooh, I can't stand to be around women like that. You know what I'm saying? I just, oof, you know what I'm saying? I keep my distance, you know what I'm saying? So, uh, you say I'm making funny, I don't give a damn. You know what I'm saying? Psst. Don't dim your light to fit in, baby. Don't die. Ooh, don't dim your light to fit in. So you coming into some money, honey. You finna get some money. You finna be paid. Hey, then they escalate. Yes, honey, you finna get some money. And you're going to have a lot of people jealous of you. You know what I'm saying? And you so divine and so loving that you feel bad that you got this money. And these people are suffering. I mean, they, they you know, you feel bad that... They don't have it going on. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, you feel bad that you got this money. Don't feel bad. Hell, the divine gave you that money for a reason. You did your work and the divine gave you that. So don't feel bad. These people need to get on their path. Hopefully that you would uh, inspire them. You know what I'm saying? So don't feel bad. You know, don't feel bad. You know, you've been having some people out there doing candle magic on you. Divine feminine. You know what I'm saying? But the candle magic didn't work. You know what I'm saying? You, you're building your foundation, um, your legacy. You know what I'm saying? You could be building a home. Um, you uh, could be in a relationship with somebody where y'all laying down roots and a foundation. You know what I'm saying? For y'all children. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful. You know, um, <clears throat> this, um, this masculine over here has been doing candle magic on you, sweetheart. I mean, jealous. You know what I'm saying? Because of this is her inheritance that you got. Something that your ancestors have left you. You have this money. You know what I'm saying? They have left you this. You know what I'm saying? This is your legacy. This is generational wealth for you and your children. Your, you and your loved ones. And this masculine has been trying to block it from you with spell work and candle magic. But he was an epic fail. Don't worry about it. And then he's with uh, his, his child's mother. You know what I'm saying? And um, she could be somebody of a different race than you are, Divine Feminine. And she thinks she's better. Uh, she's entitled. Because she's in a different race than what you are. You know what I'm saying? We know what's up with that. We know who is who. Okay? And she done got with her friends. You know, she's in some type of coven or some type of group. And she done got with her friends. Her and his masculine was attacking you. Because they did not want you to get this inheritance that is rightfully yours. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And these people are going and going to court. You know, because they was doing magic. It's, 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 
See, this is the end of them doing this magic on you. Okay, you had a couple doing magic on you. And and, and, and the baby mama, she didn't have her friends helping her do magic on you. She had some type of coven or something. It's the end of this, though. Your ancestors didn't handle that. You know what I'm saying? Your ancestors didn't, didn't handle that. Um, the universe is going to show you some love. And it's got something to do with court. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get some type of payoff for court or something. Something, 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 something. I don't know what it is, but... They go into court. This couple is going to court because they have evidence of these people doing this candle magic or doing magic on you, trying to harm you in some type of way. Okay? So when you go to court, you're going to have a monetary payment for what these people have been doing to you. Okay? The judge is going to award you some type of payment for what these people have been doing to you. Yeah. You're going to get showed a lot of love in the court. You know what I'm saying? Because they have evidence. You know what I'm saying? They have evidence, you know, and you, you getting that money, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, I guess they tried to steal it from you or something that's rightfully yours, and you getting this money, honey. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people are going to be jealous of you. But, you know, don't dim your light to fit in. You know what I'm saying? You just may have to take your light and take it somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? You're going to have to because <clears throat> if you live somewhere like I live, you know what I'm saying? Um my um my brother uh married uh his wife is well, his ex-wife she was cousins of darius miles the basketball player and um he was a celebrity a star you know what i'm saying hell he played for the clippers and everybody else you know what i'm saying a great player y'all know who darius miles is you know what i'm saying but he thought that he could come back to his regular home, his regular hometown, his regular hood, and hang out with his regular homeboys. You know what I'm saying? Since he done made it and stuff. And he, because he wants to share the fruits of his labor with his loved ones and his people. And I understand that. You know what I'm saying? But if you come from a, a ghetto, you come from a town where people are struggling to survive. And... Um, you get crabs in a bucket. You know, they get jealous that you climbed up out of the abyss and they could not. You know what I'm saying? And um, he didn't mean no harm. He just thought that he could come around, you know, uh, his friends, you know, show him his new car, his chain and all that stuff or whatever. And they like, yeah, man, that's dope. You know what I'm saying? And then they behind the back, they uh, was trying to set him up to get him to rob him. You know what I'm saying? Because these dudes need that bread. Uh, mama need a house. Baby needs some shoes. You know what I'm saying? They out here hustling. And you just come up in here and you got it like that. They want to take well, what you got. That's the easier way than them working for it. You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy. But that's the mentality of it when you're in the ghetto. You know what I'm saying? And the ghetto is not where you live. The ghetto is a state of mind. You know what I'm saying? So these people have a diseased state of mind because they in survival mode, stressed out. You know what I'm saying? That's how the Matrix has them. And because he was fortunate, you know what I'm saying? They would try to rob him and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? And he just had to understand that you just can't be around him no more. You can't dim your life to fit in because you don't fit in no more. You know what I'm saying? Once you level up, you level up. You're not on the same level no more. And everybody can't go with you. You know what I'm saying? You be wanting to take your loved ones and stuff with you, but you can't because it's all in your mind. You know what I'm saying? You think, therefore, it is, okay? So they don't think they have a lack mentality. That's why they stuck with a ghetto mentality. It's a lack mentality. So that's why they're stuck. And his is not. He done freed himself. He done tapped into his genius. He done tapped into his frequency. You know what I'm saying? So he has rolled. He has risen. And these people have not. You know what I'm saying? So they are have a ghetto state of mind. You know what I'm saying? And they can't go with you because they haven't elevated their mind. It's all of the mind. You know what I'm saying? Ghetto is a state of mind. And they still in that state of mind. You know? And he's not anymore. He's not in the lack mentality. And, you know, he was like hurt. You know what I'm saying? He got, but you know, hey, his boys would do this. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. Because they they were suffering when you was there. You know what I'm saying? You know how it was when y'all was there. You used to be walking outside in the dirt with no shoes on. Hungry, hot. 
in the summertime, ain't no air in the house. Y'all got the windows up, the curtains up, and everything. Everybody outside, no shirts on, sweating. You know how it was. They still like that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he just didn't understand, but I understand. You know, I don't think, it's not that you think that you're better. It's that, that you, you elevated, you know? You can't damn to fit in with them no more. You don't fit in. You don't fit. And if you don't fit, don't force it. You know what I'm saying? If it don't fit, don't force it. Just relax and let it go. You know what I'm saying? It's the mentality. You know what I'm saying? They haven't elevated their minds. You know what I'm saying? So they still have a diseased mind. So you got to clear your, you got to clear your camp. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's sad, but I understand it. And you should too, Divine Feminine. Never dim to fit in. Never, 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 never. Don't do that to yourself. You're not doing a service to yourself. Trust and believe I have done it. I have done it. You know what I'm saying? I was in a relationship with somebody for nine years, and he was the biggest idiot. I couldn't sit and have a... A, a, a conversation with him you know what I'm saying an intellectual conversation with him because mentally he was on a lower level than me you know what I'm saying he didn't understand what I was saying and words that I was saying you know what I'm saying and um, he wasn't trying to learn or trying to grow you know what I'm saying so I used to be sitting up in there like wow you know he's an idiot you know what I'm saying but uh, man you need to be with people on your level boo for real Straight up, you know, and it's not that you think you're better, it's just that you are because you elevated. You know what I'm saying? That sounds bad, but hey, it's the realism of it. You hear what I'm saying? This is reality. You are better because you elevated your mind. And when you elevate, you grow. And when you grow, you're better than you were before you grew. You know what I'm saying? That's growing, is getting better. And you've grew, grown, and you've gotten better, so you are better. Okay, you know, and this person was over here doing candle magic on you because they did not want you to get this money. You know what I'm saying? Um, and now you and your boo, y'all could be building a house. You got the garden that you always wanted, the nice backyard that you always wanted. You know what I'm saying? This is your legacy. You laying down roots, you know? <clears throat> yeah. You transformed. Okay, you transform and you being cold to this person. So he decided he wanted to do some candle magic on you because you're not the same as you was in the past. He can't get next to you. His little weak rap and his little weak game don't work on you no more. You know what I'm saying? Because you've grown, you elevated your mind and he's still down, down in his toxicity. You know what I'm saying? And he's mad. So he going to try to do some candle magic on you because you know, upgraded your life. I mean, he didn't do no magic to upgrade his life. Or he didn't want to do no work to upgrade his life. So he want to do some candle magic on you since you upgraded. He want to downgrade you. He want to bring you down to his level. This is somebody that knows he's lower than you. Okay? And he wants you to dim your light so you can fit in with him. No, 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 honey. No, no, no. You shine bright like a diamond. You know what I'm saying? You don't dim your light for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Mm mm, and, and, and ain't no, ain't no good, ain't no decent man gonna want you to do that anyway. He'll be happy he got a woman that's shining. You know what I'm saying? See, this is a hater over here. This is a hater that wants to be on, on, on wants to be a, on the scene, wants to be the flow show, thinking that he the centerpiece when a woman is the centerpiece fool. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, he's too feminine. He's probably bisexual. You know what I'm saying? These men like that. They want to be on the scene, want to be flow show and stuff. They they typically they 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 end up they're gay. You know what I'm saying? Because hey, that's 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 a that's what women do. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, honey. Yeah, this person um has failed trying to block your uh your legacy. Uh, he failed. You know what I'm saying? And you still getting this. You still getting this Ace of Pentacles. You still getting it. You know what I'm saying? He failed. Ain't nothing he can do to block this. What the divine sent for you is sent for you. What your ancestors sent for you is sent for you. And guess who's up here doing is trying to block you and make you dim to fit where he fit at. You know what I'm saying? He wants you in the darkness, not in the light. Your twin.
your twin flame because he took the wrong road. He took the wrong road and he want to bring you down the wrong road with him. Bring you in the alley with him. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. And he's over here with this, this Jezebel, his baby mama, this low-down, cold-blooded, nasty, trifling, you know what I'm saying, soulless person. And I think she's better because she's of a different race. And this is a, uh, and this woman is a, you would say black, so I'm going to use black for social reasons. She's a black woman, so she thinks she's entitled and she's better than her. So she gets her friends up here uh, in this coven to, to attack this divine feminine. So you got this masculine, his baby mama, and his baby mama friends attacking this feminine, trying to take her um, inheritance away from her that the divine and her ancestors has, has given her. Trying to block her from uh, building a great foundation. You know what I'm saying? Sitting up here doing spell work, but it didn't work. It didn't work. You know what I'm saying? You transformed anyway. You know what I'm saying? You transformed anyway. You know? <laughs> Yeah, and they're pretty attacking you, you know, but it's the end of this tense situation, you know what I'm saying? Just look at it as a um, needed competition at that particular time, you know what I'm saying? I mean, yeah, mm-hmm. Keep yourself guarded, though, you know what I'm saying? Protect yourself, you know, she, she's protected herself. This is a divine feminist. She knows how to protect herself from this witch you know what I'm saying? And her cock a doo doo ass friends. You know what I'm saying? These flying monkey bitches. You know what I'm saying? That's all they are. You know what I'm saying? That's exactly what they are. You know? Yeah. You know, I done messed the cars up that quick. Yeah. That's all they are. Some flying monkey bitches. You know? But, um, some haters. You know what I'm saying? Hate you because you shining and they ain't. <laughs> They gonna hate a lot of people. You know what I'm saying? That's just crazy. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand these people. I don't understand these people, y'all. These people are crazy. You know what I'm saying? But you know, they not gonna win in court, and you gonna get this money. You know, I don't know if they tried to take it from you or something. I mean, I don't. Know. He, I mean, he feels because he's your twin. He feels like he's entitled. I mean, no, you're not. No, you're not. You know what I'm saying? You got your path. She got her path. And then y'all paths supposed to lead up together, but you took the wrong path with this Jezebel over here. Her and her friends, her and this coven. You took the wrong path, bro. You know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when you go to court, baby, they're going to show you love. You don't even know about this court hearing. You don't even know about this case, actually. You just sitting chilling. This is something that's going to come out the blue and surprise you. You're going to be like, go to court for what? I ain't did nothing. Hell, this divine feminine damn, she damn near don't even go out the house. So what I'm going to court for? But you going to court because these people try to steal something from you that you didn't even know that you that you had, that you was entitled to. You know what I'm saying? They be I've been all in your records, researching your name, researching your family, and they came across some that you uh some type of inheritance and they tried to steal it from you. You know? But they gonna lose in court. The court gonna show you some love, baby. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know what? Your ancestors are all behind this. Your ancestors are behind this. Mm -hmm. They behind you winning this court case. They behind this coming to court. And this person, uh, this masculine is going to want to apologize and ask your forgiveness for what he did trying to take this money from you. I don't know if they forged some documents or something. They did something to try to take this money away from you. But you getting everything back. Plus some. And you didn't even know that you had it. You know what I'm saying? And he want to come and apologize to you for what he did. Crazy, man. Crazy. He done researched your name and, you know what I'm saying, and just seen that you had some inheritance. And he said, I'm, I want that. You're not even in a relationship with him or nothing. You don't even deal with this dude. And he just figures that he want that. He want what you're supposed to have. Ain't he beautiful, y'all? We gonna keep him. Let's keep him, y'all. Let's keep him. We love him. Ain't he's a hell of a guy. You know what I'm saying? You know, with friends like this, who needs enemies? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But it's the end of this magic for this particular person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's the end of it, honey. Yeah. Doing magic over there because he attracted to you. You know what I'm saying? He hot for you. So he over there doing magic. Man, get your ass out of here. 
Get on out of here. You old because you take care of yourself. And this Jezebel, he with her. She stank. She don't take care of herself. She has a smell. You know what I'm saying? You over here taking care of yourself, loving on yourself. And he over here suffering. He over there suffering with this stinky lady. He isolating himself and just thinking about you all the time. You know what I'm saying? And he feels guilty because he know he sabotaged his connection. You know what I'm saying? He should have had the courage and uh, changed his life and walked away from this feminine, but he didn't. As he let her talk her into talk him into stealing his money from this divine feminine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, Spirit wants you to keep your distance from this person. Retreat from this person when he comes around. Because he has a lack mentality, like I just said about Darius Miles and his friends. And this person would probably try to take something from you. Okay? And you're going to have a lot of growth this summer. You know what I'm saying? So watch who you keep around you. Okay? You're in your north node. Um, you have a cosmic connection and you're living in your purpose. That's why you got this inheritance. Okay? Stand in your power. And keep your strength. And uh, you got it going on. You got it going on, Divine Feminine. You know? Let's go to the north because we are in our north node here. They just told you you was in your north node. So let's go to the north. And let's see what's happening, all right? Let's see what's happening. Don't dim your light to fit in, honey, because you're supposed to be up there with the gods. You know what I'm saying? So why would you belittle yourself? You know what I'm saying? Use a fourth of your energy to fit in with these people. And I just said a fourth. You only need a fourth of your energy to fit in with these people. You're not even using the whole thing. You know what I'm saying? So why would you want to fit in with these people when you're supposed to be a god? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? This person sitting up here spreading rumors because you don't want to be with him. <laughs> How childish, you know what I'm saying? How childish, you know what I'm saying? Psst, girl, please. <laughs> yeah, this person was a peon when he was young and now he want to be top dog. <laughs> Typical, you know? Now he want to be top dog. And he feel that he can... Uh, Live off your shine. You know what I'm saying? And he wants to bring you down to his level. And girl, he down there, breath stinking, smelling like shit. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and you want to lower yourself? You want to dim your light to fit in with him? I mean, come on, man. He don't even brush his teeth. Come on, man. He got that halley. You know what I'm saying? Got that halley. You know what I'm saying? And he's spreading rumors out here that you done got an abortion. I mean, what the hell he talking about? What is he talking about? You know what I'm saying? I mean, you don't even know what he's talking about. He crazy. Just saying anything because you won't deal with him. Saying anything just to get you to argue with him because any attention is attention to him. He crazy. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's crazy. <laughs> he crazy, y'all. You know? But he want to be top dog now because he was a peon when he was little. You know what I'm saying? He, this person has a mental disability. Yeah. He has a mental disability. Something wrong with him, y'all. He could be on some medication. Or he just learned differently than other people. You know what I'm saying? But something ain't right with him, honey. Something ain't right with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah. His breath smell like shit. And you like, boy, bye. I ain't got time for this. And that's right. Don't dim your light to fit in. You shine bright like a diamond all the time. You know what I'm saying? You are a diamond. You are a diamond with your, with your beautiful self, divine feminine. You are a goddess, and remember that, okay? And what I tell you, <laughs> girl, you're going to be a millionaire when you leave that court. It, this is going to surprise you because this is something that's going to come out the blue. Shine bright like a diamond, and you better not. Don't feel bad. Don't feel, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hey, you know what I'm saying? What you going to feel bad about a blessing the divine gave you? You know what I'm saying? You feel bad. Divine, the divine be looking at you like, oh, I'm going to take this from her because she's not happy. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You better do a flip and go, oh, what a feeling. Toyota. You better jump up and everything and show the appreciation to the divine. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't uh, get your millions taken because you tripping off of these stanky breath, mental disabled people that spread rumors you know what I'm saying? I mean, don't, don't, don't. Hey, this is meant for you, honey. For you. I'm living just for you. Millions just for you. For you. For you.
I'm saying? Y'all got me going to cameo on here. You know what I'm saying? I'm telling you, this is for you. You know what I'm saying? It's just for you. Look at they over there doing voodoo and everything. They do not want you to get this money, but it's yours. It's yours. They crazy. They crazy. They crazy, y'all. They crazy. But these people are crazy. You know what I'm saying? This is just for you. It's for you, boo. It's just for you. You know what I'm saying? Well, Divine Feminine, this is the message that I have for you, honey. Don't dim your light to fit in. Because you finna shine bright like a diamond. You finna get everything that was uh, uh that's owed to you plus some. You know what I'm saying? So everything these people did against you, it didn't work. You know what I'm saying? And you shining. You know what I'm saying? Everything they doing is coming to an end. And uh, go on about your business. All right? Lay down your foundation and your legacy and live life, love with your family and your loved ones. All right? I love you, Divine Feminine. And I will see you next time on the next Divine Feminine message. Stay up, y'all. Stay protected. And I love you, ladies. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.